On this Mental Health Action Day, we are learning how listening to certain kinds of music can help you cope with stress and even relieve anxiety. Here now, a North Texas teenager who processes his depression by creating music with a message. Who am I? I'm a conqueror of depression. Music is very powerful and it's a great coping mechanism. And I know you can relate, yeah. You can get out of that mental health crisis. I did not tell my parents I was suicidal and I wanted to not be here since I was eight. Imagine that 10 years of me not saying anything. My name is Christopher Stevenson. I was born and raised in Dallas. These are my parents right here, Christopher Stevenson Sr., Raquel Stevenson. Music can help everybody that deals with some sort of a mental health, big or small. I think music is an excellent choice as a coping mechanism. That's why I'm a music therapist. I'm Daniel Tagg. I am chair and assistant professor of music therapy at Southern Methodist University. We have been doing some research studies in conjunction with my students. We wrote a piece of music using slower beats per minute, melody that's not going up and down too much, not too much instrumentation. If you are paying attention to some of those qualities of the music, you can successfully use those things to help yourself relax. We wanted to test and see whether or not it actually helped them reduce their anxiety and, and help them with stress. It's pretty powerful to think just doing a very short 10 seconds of some guided breathing and listening to five minutes of music in a quiet place can dramatically reduce your anxiety. I mean, this could be very useful for everybody, not just college students. I most definitely can relate. Yes, this is proof that music not only affects your mental health, but it affects your way of life. Yeah. So my mama tears for me to change. My music is based off of a stigma that, you know, I had to just be this tough guy all the time, and it was exhausting. But I'm man enough to say I got some issues. Look, his music, I believe it's therapeutic. It's true to the core, and I think that's what society needs today, not to sugarcoat it, but actually get in the roots, and even the, the ugly places that we don't want to talk about. I sacrifice a lot of things morally. I did that. When I was 15, I started writing because because, you know, I used to just get into verbal altercations, fights. I feel like this is a way that I can get all of that self-destructive energy out and it comes back positive. Pain speaks to pain. Yeah. There are people who right now are depressed, but that doesn't make you any less of a person. You can help so many people with your story. Mama always said, be who you're supposed to be. He's not afraid to speak his truth. And it's okay to hurt, yeah. but what are you going to do to get out that hurt? Music therapy works on so many levels. We see it in a lot of our hospitals, right, from, from kids, obviously, to adults. Youth, we know, are never far away from music on their phones, which is exactly why the professor says music therapy specifically can help younger people wherever they are. It's the same philosophy, actually, behind the 988 crisis helpline. That allows people to text counselors, just texting 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Help is always there. We're happy to share avenues to find it.